Dharma, Sanskrit, Dharma translate. Dharma, pronounced dm listen, Pali, Dhamma translate. Dhamma, translate. Dhamma is a key concept with multiple meanings in Indian religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism and others. There is no single word translation for dharma in western languages. In Hinduism, dharma signifies behaviors that are considered to be in accord with RDA, the order that makes life and universe possible and includes duties, rights, laws, conduct, virtues and right way of living. In Buddhism, dharma means cosmic law and order and is also applied to the teachings of the Buddha. In Buddhist philosophy, dhamma dharma is also the term for phenomena. Dharma in Jainism refers to the teachings of Tirthankara Jina and the body of doctrine pertaining to the purification and moral transformation of human beings. For Sikhs, the word dharma means the path of righteousness and proper religious practice. The word dharma was already in use in the historical Vedic religion, and its meaning and conceptual scope has evolved over several millennia. The antonym of dharma is a dharma. Topic Etymology The classical Sanskrit noun dharma, dharma or the Prakrit dhamma, are a derivation from the root dhr, which means, to hold, maintain, keep, and takes a meaning of, what is established or firm, and hence, law. It is derived from an older Vedic Sanskrit n stem dharman, with a literal meaning of, bearer, supporter. In a religious sense conceived as an aspect of RTA, in the Rigveda, the word appears as an end stem, dharman, with a range of meanings encompassing something established or firm, in the literal sense of prods or poles. Figuratively, it means sustainer and supporter of deities. It is semantically similar to the Greek themis, fixed decree, statute, law. In classical Sanskrit, the noun becomes thematic, dharma. The word dharma derives from Proto-Indo-European root asterisk dir, to hold, which in Sanskrit is reflected as class I root dhr. Etymologically it is related to Avestan dar, to hold, Latin firmus, steadfast, stable, powerful, Lithuanian dir t, to be suited, fit, Lithuanian dermi, agreement, and dharna, harmony, and Old Church Slavonic drive, zati to hold, possess". Classical Sanskrit word dharmas would formally match with Latin o stem firmus from Proto-Indo-European d erm os holding", were it not for its historical development from earlier Rigvedic n stem, in Classical Sanskrit, and in the Vedic Sanskrit of the Atharvaveda, the stem is thematic, dharma Devanagari. In Prakrit and Pali, it is rendered dhamma. In some contemporary Indian languages and dialects it alternatively occurs as dharm. Ancient translations When the Mauryan emperor Ashoka wanted in the 3rd century BCE to translate the word dharma, he used Prakrit word dhamma into Greek and Aramaic, he used the Greek word eusebia, eusebia piety, spiritual maturity, or godliness in the Kandahar bilingual rock inscription and the Kandahar Greek edicts, and the Aramaic word qsyt truth", in the Kandahar bilingual rock inscription. Definition Dharma is a concept of central importance in Indian philosophy and religion. It has multiple meanings in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. It is difficult to provide a single concise definition for dharma, as the word has a long and varied history and straddles a complex set of meanings and interpretations. There is no equivalent single word synonym for dharma in Western languages. There have been numerous, conflicting attempts to translate ancient Sanskrit literature with the word dharma into German, English, and French. The concept, claims Paul Horsch, has caused exceptional difficulties for modern commentators and translators. For example, while Grassmann's translation of Rig Veda identifies seven different meanings of dharma, Carl Friedrich Geldner in his translation of the Rig Veda employs twenty different translations for dharma, including meanings such as law, order, duty, custom, quality, and model, among others. However, the word dharma has become a widely accepted loanword in English, and is included in all modern unabridged English dictionaries. The root of the word dharma is dhri, which means to support, hold, or bear. 
It is the thing that regulates the course of change by not participating in change, but that principle which remains constant. Monier Williams, the widely cited resource for definitions and explanation of Sanskrit words and concepts of Hinduism, offers numerous definitions of the word dharma, such as that which is established or firm, steadfast decree, statute, law, practice, custom, duty, right, justice, virtue, morality, ethics, religion, religious merit, good works, nature, character, quality, property. Yet, each of these definitions is incomplete, while combination of these translations do not convey the total sense of the word. In common parlance, dharma means, "...right way of living", and "...path of rightness". The meaning of the word dharma depends on the context, and its meaning has evolved as ideas of Hinduism have developed through history. In the earliest texts and ancient myths of Hinduism, dharma meant cosmic law, the rules that created the universe from chaos, as well as rituals. In later Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, and the epics, the meaning became refined, richer, and more complex, and the word was applied to diverse contexts. In certain contexts, dharma designates human behaviors considered necessary for order of things in the universe, principles that prevent chaos, behaviors and action necessary to all life in nature, society, family as well as at the individual level. Dharma encompasses ideas such as duty, rights, character, vocation, religion, customs, and all behavior considered appropriate, correct, or morally upright. The antonym of dharma is adharma, Sanskrit, adharma meaning that which is not dharma. As with dharma, the word adharma includes and implies many ideas. In common parlance, adharma means that which is against nature, immoral, unethical, wrong, or unlawful. In Buddhism, dharma incorporates the teachings and doctrines of the founder of Buddhism, the Buddha. Topic: History. According to the authoritative book History of Dharmasastra, in the hymns of the Rigveda the word dharma appears at least 56 times, as an adjective or noun. According to Paul Horsch, the word dharma has its origin in the myths of Vedic Hinduism. The Brahman whom all the gods make up, claim the hymns of the Rig Veda, created the universe from chaos, they hold dar the earth and sun and stars apart, they support dar the sky away and distinct from earth, and they stabilize dar the quaking mountains and plains. The gods, mainly Indra, then deliver and hold order from disorder, harmony from chaos, stability from instability, actions recited in the Veda with the root of word dharma. In hymns composed after the mythological verses, the word dharma takes expanded meaning as a cosmic principle and appears in verses independent of gods. It evolves into a concept, claims Paul Horsch, that has a dynamic functional sense in Atharvaveda for example, where it becomes the cosmic law that links cause and effect through a subject. Dharma, in these ancient texts, also takes a ritual meaning. The ritual is connected to the cosmic, and «dharmani» is equated to ceremonial devotion to the principles that gods use to create order from disorder, the world from chaos. Past the ritual and cosmic sense of dharma that link the current world to mythical universe, the concept extends to ethical social sense that links human beings to each other and to other life forms. It is here that dharma as a concept of law emerges in Hinduism. Dharma and related words are found in the oldest Vedic literature of Hinduism, in later Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, and the epics. The word dharma also plays a central role in the literature of other Indian religions founded later, such as Buddhism and Jainism. According to Brereton, dharman occurs 63 times in Rig Veda. In addition, words related to dharman also appear in Rig Veda, for example, once as dharmakirt, six times as satyadharman, and once as dharmavant, four times as dharman, and twice as dhariman. Indo European parallels for dharma are known, but the only Iranian equivalent is Old Persian dharman. Remedy", the meaning of which is rather removed from Indo Aryan dharman, suggesting that the word dharma did not have a major role in the Indo-Iranian period, and was principally developed more recently under the Vedic tradition. However, it is thought that the Dana of Zoroastrianism, also meaning the «eternal law» or «religion», is related to Sanskrit «dharma». Ideas in parts overlapping to dharma are found in other ancient cultures, such as Chinese Tao, Egyptian Mayat, Sumerian Mi. Eusebia and Dharma In mid-20th century, an inscription of the Indian Emperor Asoka from the year 258 BC was discovered in Afghanistan, the Kandahar bilingual rock inscription. 
This rock inscription contains Greek and Aramaic text. According to Paul Hacker, on the rock appears a Greek rendering for the Sanskrit word dharma, the word Eusebia. Scholars of Hellenistic Greece explain Eusebia as a complex concept. Eusebia means not only to venerate gods, but also spiritual maturity, a reverential attitude toward life, and includes the right conduct toward one's parents, siblings and children, the right conduct between husband and wife, and the conduct between biologically unrelated people. This rock inscription, concludes Paul Hacker, suggests Dharma in India, about 2,300 years ago, was a central concept and meant not only religious ideas, but ideas of right, of good, of one's duty toward the human community. <laughs> RTA, Maya and Dharma The evolving literature of Hinduism linked Dharma to two other important concepts, RDA and Maya. RDA in Vedas is the truth and cosmic principle which regulates and coordinates the operation of the universe and everything within it. Maya in Rig Veda and later literature means illusion, fraud, deception, magic that misleads and creates disorder, thus is contrary to reality, laws and rules that establish order, predictability and harmony. Paul Horsch suggests RDA and Dharma are parallel concepts, the former being a cosmic principle, the latter being of moral social sphere, while Maya and Dharma are also analogous concepts, the former being that which corrupts law and moral life, the later being that which strengthens law and moral life. Day proposes Dharma as a manifestation of RDA, but suggests RDA may have been subsumed into a more complex concept of Dharma, as the idea developed in ancient India over time in a nonlinear manner. The following verse from the Rigveda is an example where RTA and Dharma are linked. O Indra, lead us on the path of RTA, on the right path over all evils. <inaudible> Hinduism Dharma is an organizing principle in Hinduism that applies to human beings in solitude, in their interaction with human beings and nature, as well as between inanimate objects, to all of cosmos and its parts. It refers to the order and customs which make life and universe possible, and includes behaviors, rituals, rules that govern society, and ethics. Hindu dharma includes the religious duties, moral rights and duties of each individual, as well as behaviors that enable social order, right conduct, and those that are virtuous. Dharma, according to Van Bittenen, is that which all existing beings must accept and respect to sustain harmony and order in the world. It is neither the act nor the result, but the natural laws that guide the act and create the result to prevent chaos in the world. It is innate characteristic, that makes the being what it is. It is, claims Van Bittenen, the pursuit and execution of one's nature and true calling, thus playing one's role in cosmic concert. In Hinduism, it is the dharma of the bee to make honey, of cow to give milk, of sun to radiate sunshine, of river to flow. In terms of humanity, dharma is the need for, the effect of an essence of service and interconnectedness of all life. In Hinduism, dharma includes two aspects, sanatana dharma, which is the overall, unchanging and abiding principles of dharma and is not subject to change, and yuga dharma, which is valid for a yuga, an epoch or age as established by Hindu tradition. In Vedas and Upanishads The history section of this article discusses the development of Dharma concept in Vedas. This development continued in the Upanishads and later ancient scripts of Hinduism. In Upanishads, the concept of Dharma continues as universal principle of law, order, harmony, and truth. It acts as the regulatory moral principle of the universe. It is explained as law of righteousness and equated to satya Sanskrit, satam truth, in hymn 1.4.14 of Bhradaranyaka Upanishad, as follows Dharma tasmadharmat param nasti atho abhilayan balyamsamasam sate dharmena yatha rajnyayavam yo vi sa dharma satam vi tat tasmat satyam vidantamahor dharmam vidatiti dharmam va vidantam satam vidatiti itadyavitadubayam bhavati Nothing is higher than dharma. The weak overcomes the stronger by dharma, as over a king. Truly that dharma is the truth sadhya, therefore, when a man speaks the truth, they say, he speaks the dharma, and if he speaks dharma, they say, he speaks the truth, for both are one. In the epics 
The Hindu religion and philosophy, claims Daniel Ingalls, places major emphasis on individual practical morality. In the Sanskrit epics, this concern is omnipresent. In the second book of Ramayana, for example, a peasant asks the king to do what dharma morally requires of him, the king agrees and does so even though his compliance with the law of dharma costs him dearly. Similarly, dharma is at the center of all major events in the life of Rama, Sita, and Lakshman in Ramayana, claims Daniel Ingalls. Each episode of Ramayana presents life situations and ethical questions in symbolic terms. The issue is debated by the characters, finally the right prevails over wrong, the good over evil. For this reason, in Hindu epics, the good, morally upright, law-abiding king is referred to as Dharmaraja. In Mahabharata, the other major Indian epic, similarly, Dharma is central, and it is presented with symbolism and metaphors. Near the end of the epic, the god Yama, referred to as Dharma in the text, is portrayed as taking the form of a dog to test the compassion of Yudhishthira, who is told he may not enter paradise with such an animal, but refuses to abandon his companion, for which decision he is then praised by Dharma. The value and appeal of the Mahabharata is not as much in its complex and rushed presentation of metaphysics in the twelfth book, claims Ingalls, because Indian metaphysics is more eloquently presented in other Sanskrit scriptures. The appeal of Mahabharata, like Ramayana, is in its presentation of a series of moral problems and life situations, to which there are usually three answers given. According to Ingalls, one answer is of Bhima, which is the answer of brute force, an individual angle representing materialism, egoism, and self. The second answer is of Yudhishthira, which is always an appeal to piety and gods, of social virtue and of tradition. The third answer is of introspective Arjuna, which falls between the two extremes, and who, claims Ingalls, symbolically reveals the finest moral qualities of man. The epics of Hinduism are a symbolic treatise about life, virtues, customs, morals, ethics, law, and other aspects of Dharma. There is extensive discussion of dharma at the individual level in the epics of Hinduism, observes Ingalls, for example, on free will versus destiny, when and why human beings believe in either, ultimately concluding that the strong and prosperous naturally uphold free will, while those facing grief or frustration naturally lean towards destiny. The epics of Hinduism illustrate various aspects of dharma, they are a means of communicating dharma with metaphors. According to 4th century Vatsyayana According to Klaus Klostermeyer, 4th century Hindu scholar Vatsyayana explained Dharma by contrasting it with a Dharma. Vatsyayana suggested that Dharma is not merely in one's actions, but also in words one speaks or writes, and in thought. According to Vatsyayana, a dharma of body, hinsa violence, steya steel, theft, praticita methuna sexual indulgence with someone other than one's partner. Dharma of body, dana charity, paritrana succor of the distressed and parikarana rendering service to others. A dharma from words one speaks or writes, mithya falsehood, purusa caustic talk, sukhana calumny and asambada absurd talk. Dharma from words one speaks or writes, satya truth and facts, hitavakana talking with good intention, priyavakana gentle, kind talk, svadaya self-study. A dharma of mind, paradroa ill will to anyone, paradravyabipsa covetousness, nastikya denial of the existence of morals and religiosity. Dharma of mind, daya compassion, aspra disinterestedness, and sraddha faith in others. According to Patanjali Yoga In the Yoga system, the Dharma is real, in the Vedanta, it is unreal. Dharma is part of Yoga, suggests Patanjali. The elements of Hindu Dharma are the attributes, qualities, and aspects of Yoga. Patanjali explained Dharma in two categories yama restraints and niyama observances the five yama according to Patanjali are abstain from injury to all living creatures ahimsa abstain from falsehood satya abstain from unauthorized appropriation of things of value from another akastrapravaka abstain from coveting or sexually cheating on your partner and abstain from expecting or accepting gifts from others the five yama apply in action speech and mind in explaining yama, Patanjali clarifies that certain professions and situations may require qualification in conduct. 
For example, a fisherman must injure a fish, but he must attempt to do this with least trauma to fish and the fisherman must try to injure no other creature as he fishes. The five niyama observances are cleanliness by eating pure food and removing impure thoughts such as arrogance or jealousy or pride, contentment in one's means, meditation and silent reflection regardless of circumstances one faces, study and pursuit of historic knowledge, and devotion of all actions to the Supreme Teacher to achieve perfection of concentration. Sources Dharma is an empirical and experiential inquiry for every man and woman, according to some texts of Hinduism. For example, Apastamba Dharmasutra states, Dharma and Adharma do not go around saying, "'That is us'. Neither do gods, nor Gandharvas, nor ancestors declare what is Dharma and what is Adharma. In other texts, three sources and means to discover Dharma in Hinduism are described. These, according to Paul Hacker, are, first, learning historical knowledge such as Vedas, Upanishads, the epics and other Sanskrit literature with the help of one's teacher. Second, observing the behavior and example of good people. The third source applies when neither one's education nor example exemplary conduct is known. In this case, Atmatusti is the source of dharma in Hinduism, that is the good person reflects and follows what satisfies his heart, his own inner feeling, what he feels driven to. Dharma, life stages and social stratification Some texts of Hinduism outline dharma for society and at the individual level. Of these, the most cited one is Manumriti, which describes the four varnas, their rights and duties. Most texts of Hinduism, however, discuss dharma with no mention of varna caste. Other dharma texts and smritis differ from Manumriti on the nature and structure of varnas. Yet, other texts question the very existence of varna. Brigu, in the Epics, for example, presents the theory that dharma does not require any varnas. In practice, medieval India is widely believed to be a socially stratified society, with each social strata inheriting a profession and being endogamous. Varna was not absolute in Hindu dharma, individuals had the right to renounce and leave their varna, as well as their asramas of life, in search of moksha. While neither Manumriti nor succeeding Smritis of Hinduism ever use the word Varnadharma that is, the Dharma of Varnas, or Varnasramadharma that is, the Dharma of Varnas and Asramas, the scholarly commentary on Manumriti use these words, and thus associate Dharma with Varna system of India. In 6th century India, even Buddhist kings called themselves, "...protectors of Varnasramadharma." That is, dharma of varna and asramas of life. At the individual level, some texts of Hinduism outline four asramas, or stages of life as individuals' dharma. These are 1. Brahmacharya, the life of preparation as a student, 2. Grastha, the life of the householder with family and other social roles, 3. Vanprastha or Aranyaka, the life of the forest dweller, transitioning from worldly occupations to reflection and renunciation, and 4. Sannyasa, the life of giving away all property, becoming a recluse and devotion to moksha, spiritual matters. The four stages of life complete the four human strivings in life, according to Hinduism. Dharma enables the individual to satisfy the striving for stability and order, a life that is lawful and harmonious, the striving to do the right thing, be good, be virtuous, earn religious merit, be helpful to others, interact successfully with society. The other three strivings are artha, the striving for means of life such as food, shelter, power, security, material wealth, etc., kama, the striving for sex, desire, pleasure, love, emotional fulfillment, etc., and moksha, the striving for spiritual meaning, liberation from life rebirth cycle, self-realization in this life, etc. The four stages are neither independent nor exclusionary in Hindu dharma. Dharma and poverty Dharma while being necessary for individual and society, is dependent on poverty and prosperity in a society, according to Hindu Dharma scriptures. For example, according to Adam Bowles, Shatapatha Brahmana 11.1.6.24 links social prosperity and dharma through water. Waters come from rains, it claims, when rains are abundant there is prosperity on the earth, and this prosperity enables people to follow dharma, moral and lawful life. 
In times of distress, of drought, of poverty, everything suffers including relations between human beings and the human ability to live according to dharma. In Rajadharmaparvan 91.34-8, the relationship between poverty and dharma reaches a full circle. A land with less moral and lawful life suffers distress, and as distress rises it causes more immoral and unlawful life, which further increases distress. Those in power must follow the Raja Dharma that is, Dharma of rulers, because this enables the society and the individual to follow Dharma and achieve prosperity. <laughs> dharma and law The notion of Dharma as duty or propriety is found in India's ancient legal and religious texts. In Hindu philosophy, justice, social harmony, and happiness requires that people live per dharma. The Dharmashastra is a record of these guidelines and rules. The available evidence suggest India once had a large collection of dharma-related literature sutras, shastras, four of the sutras survive and these are now referred to as dharmasutras. Along with laws of Manu in dharmasutras, exist parallel and different compendium of laws, such as the laws of Narada and other ancient scholars. These different and conflicting law books are neither exclusive, nor do they supersede other sources of dharma in Hinduism. These dharmasutras include instructions on education of the young, their rites of passage, customs, religious rites and rituals, marital rites and obligations, death and ancestral rites, laws and administration of justice, crimes, punishments, rules and types of evidence, duties of a king, as well as morality. Buddhism In Buddhism dharma means cosmic law and order, but is also applied to the teachings of the Buddha. In Buddhist philosophy, dhamma – dharma is also the term for «phenomena». In East Asia, the translation for dharma is fa, pronounced fa in Mandarin, cho, in Tibetan, beop in Korean, ho in Japanese, and fap in Vietnamese. However, the term dharma can also be transliterated from its original form. Topic: <inaudible> Buddha's teachings. For practicing Buddhists, references to dharma, dhamma in Pali, particularly as the dharma, generally means the teachings of the Buddha, commonly known throughout the East as Buddha Dharma. It includes especially the discourses on the fundamental principles such as the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path, as opposed to the parables and to the poems. The status of Dharma is regarded variably by different Buddhist traditions. Some regard it as an ultimate truth, or as the fount of all things which lie beyond the three realms Sanskrit, Tridhatu, and the Wheel of Becoming. Sanskrit, Bhavachakra, somewhat like the pagan Greek and Christian logos, this is known as Dharmakaya Sanskrit. Others, who regard the Buddha as simply an enlightened human being, see the Dharma as the essence of the 84,000 different aspects of the teaching." Tibetan, chose sgo bergyad khribzhi strong that the Buddha gave to various types of people, based upon their individual propensities and capabilities. Dharma refers not only to the sayings of the Buddha, but also to the later traditions of interpretation and addition that the various schools of Buddhism have developed to help explain and to expand upon the Buddha's teachings. For others still, they see the Dharma as referring to the truth or the ultimate reality of the way that things really are. Tib. Cho. The Dharma is one of the three jewels of Buddhism in which practitioners of Buddhism seek refuge, or that upon which one relies for his or her lasting happiness. The three jewels of Buddhism are the Buddha, meaning the mind's perfection of enlightenment, the Dharma, meaning the teachings and the methods of the Buddha, and the Sangha, meaning the monastic community who provide guidance and support to followers of the Buddha. Chan Buddhism. Dharma is employed in Chan in a specific context in relation to transmission of authentic doctrine, understanding and bodhi, recognized in Dharma transmission. <laughs> Jainism The word Dharma in Jainism is found in all its key texts. It has a contextual meaning and refers to a number of ideas. 
In the broadest sense, it means the teachings of the genus, or teachings of any competing spiritual school, a supreme path, socio-religious duty, and that which is the highest Mangala holy. .The term dharma also has a specific ontological and soteriological meaning in Jainism, as a part of its theory of six dravya substance or a reality. In the Jain tradition, existence consists of jiva soul, atman, and ajiva non -soul, the latter consisting of five categories, inert non-sentient atomic matter pudula, space akasha, time kala, principle of motion dharma, and principle of rest adharma. The use of the term dharma to mean motion and to refer to an ontological subcategory is peculiar to Jainism, and not found in the metaphysics of Buddhism and various schools of Hinduism. The major Jain text, Tattvartha Sutra, mentions Das Dharma with the meaning of ten righteous virtues. These are forbearance, modesty, straightforwardness, purity, truthfulness, self restraint, austerity, renunciation, non attachment, and celibacy. Akarya Amrakandra, author of the Jain text, Purasarthasadupaya writes, A right believer should constantly meditate on virtues of dharma, like supreme modesty, in order to protect the soul from all contrary dispositions. He should also cover up the shortcomings of others. <laughs> Sikhism For Sikhs, the word dharm means the path of righteousness and proper religious practice. Guru Granth Sahib in Hymn 1353 connotes dharma as duty. The 3HO movement in Western culture, which has incorporated certain Sikh beliefs, defines Sikh dharma broadly as all that constitutes religion, moral duty and way of life. <laughs> dharma in symbols The importance of dharma to Indian sentiments is illustrated by India's decision in 1947 to include the Ashoka Chakra, a depiction of the Dharma Chakra, the wheel of dharma, as the central motif on its flag. Topic: See also. Dana Dhammapada Karma Dao equals equals notes